please atom smash your hands together for Tom Winty. How can finding nothing be the best possible result? Now, I want to take you back in time. We know sound travels as a wave. When I clap my hands, I start a molecular Mexican wave, passing the vibrations of air particles knocking into each other from here to your ears. Now, scientists in the 19th century knew that light also travels like a wave. It reflects, it refracts, it interferes with itself. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> but they knew that light could also travel through a vacuum. It didn't need any air particles to transmit the wave vibrations, which is why in space, no one can hear you scream. But they can see you go... <laughs> now, scientists weren't happy with this. They wanted something that could transmit the vibrations, so they proposed a new material, the luminiferous ether. Now, this stuff was pretty weird. You can't see it, you can't feel it when you move slowly enough, but it's strong enough so that when the high-frequency light vibrations pass through it, it's a diamond hard. It's like a sort of all-permeating, invisible super custard. And people believed in it, <laughs> because they couldn't imagine light traveling in any other way. Now, this isn't good enough for science. We need experiments, measurements, and data. And in 1887, two scientists, Mickelson and Morley, tried to make such a measurement. They tried to measure the speed of the Earth through the ether. Now, we, don't forget, we're all on this tiny little blue-green ball whizzing around the sun at some 60,000 miles an hour. So if you measure the speed of light in the winter, it should be different to the speed you measure in the summer, because the Earth's traveling in the opposite direction to this ether stuff. And what did they find? Nothing. No difference whatsoever. The speed of light was the same no matter where you measured it. And this paved the way, this null result, for Einstein's special relativity, which took the speed of light as a fundamental constant of the universe. And this changed science forever. Now, in a similar way, at the Large Hadron Collider, we could make many things. We could make Higgs bosons, micro black holes, even dark matter. But it could be that the world's biggest experiment finds nothing at all. Now, is that a waste of five billion pounds? <laughs> no. <laughs> because those predictions are based on our understanding of the universe at the moment. And if we see nothing, it means we've got it wrong. It means we have to rewrite science, and it means nothing short of a scientific revolution. And that is how finding nothing can be the best possible result. Thank you.